I'm a lover of little objects. I'm a huge lover of little things. And this, this can be like a little no value piece of whatever, but it has meaning for me. Hey, I'm Camilo and I'm always traveling and writing and producing and performing. Esquire asked me to show you guys my favorite collection of wearable art and explain you a little bit of my jewelry and the stories behind them. So here it goes. So if you're expecting this to be like a video about expensive jewelry, you are watching the wrong video. This is not about the, the value of, of the how expensive these things are. This is the value on the, the storytelling and the, the meaning that every little piece has in my life. So I'm gonna start with the things that I have right now in my hands. So this is the most important one. This is my wedding ring. I've been married for less than a year, but this has become so fast, the most important part of my jewelry, for sure, 100%. This is a recent gift from one of my friends uh, from my childhood, he in, in Colombia, Juancho. It's a little bee. My family, it's all beekeeper. So beekeeping and honey and all around that has been like the soundtrack and the smell of all my childhood and my life. So it's a very special bee for me. I wanna show you guys this one. My brother-in-law, Mao from Mao and Ricky, he is a person that always has beautiful ideas. And he was praying once and he felt from God that he should start it like a company, like a, like a beautiful brand around um, the idea of reminding everybody of their own why. So you have two great moments in your life. The day you uh, was born and the day you discover why you were born. So this is the why bracelet from Mao. So this, it's a, a couple of Dior big pearls with again a B and this was a gift from one of my best friends in the world John Leon one of my favorite producers of Latin music and music in general when he signed his publishing deal it was like a huge party for us and this was uh, his gift for 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 me and I know this is like Dior and it's like oh my god huge pearls and it meant a lot to me not because of the how expensive they are because I don't I don't even know how much it cost, but from the idea of how big God has been in our plans as a team. Um, so this was the jewelry that I used in, in the first Latin Grammy that I assisted. I wasn't even nominated, and now I'm nominated for six different Latin Grammys, so this is very important for me. I love you, John. Like almost everything that I have in this table right now, I use it every day, like a ton of a lot of necklaces and earrings and oh look at this I haven't shown you this so this is my favorite uh, earring so this little quartz was a gift from my girlfriend but I use this now as the holder of a couple of more treasures so this little this little beer thing here it's the first beer that I had in my first house, the first house that I bought in my life. And this little clip, I have it, it's a little clip that I was playing with all the time while I was recording my second album. I was like, I cannot say goodbye to this little thing. I'm a lover of little objects. I'm a huge lover of little things. And this, this can be like a little no value piece of whatever, but it has a ton of, a ton of meaning for me. So this is a little piece of jewelry that I have with my wife. She has a C and I have a E, and I have it always in my neck. Remember, remembering her. Like I need it most when I'm not with her. Every picture that I have for my albums, for my interviews, in my concerts, whatever, I have this, and everybody knows that it's Eva Luna here in my neck. So this was a gift from my Mexican pop star friend, Belinda. And it's a Louis Vuitton little trunk to save 
treasures. So now I have here, look at this. I have here the first beer that I had with my sister after not seeing her uh, in the pandemic, like for 10 months. So it's very special for me. I, I, I broke it in the, in the dinner, but I saved it here, like to fit here. One of the things that developed me as a human being the most, when I was studying to be a yoga teacher, an Ashtanga yoga teacher, and my master in that moment, the person that I was um, practicing every day with, gave this to me as a gift. That moment of my life was definitely one of the most important ones for me. Um, and I remember this as a, like an anchor, not only for who I am right now, but who I was and who I want to keep being. So this, it doesn't cost anything in, in like money-wise, but it, it's, it's very valuable for me. Thank you so much, Squire, for inviting me to show you guys a little bit of what is sacred uh, for me and for my jewelry and my wearable art. And this is a message for everybody to have, like to focus more in what is um, important and full of meaning and less in only thinking about the cost money-wise of what you're wearing. So yeah, thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye.